our second one named act. Please welcome Tibbs. Uh, Tibbs. How is everybody doing tonight? Good? You guys enjoying the show? Lucky. Personally, I'm applying to colleges right now, which is a really, really hard thing for me to do, and I think it's hard for a lot of people to do, mainly because you realize that you're average. <laughs> which really, really blows, because it's like you turn 19, and then all of a sudden, everyone around you speaks Spanish or some other second language, and all of a sudden, they're all perfect athletes, and you're like, where? when did this happen? <laughs> I mean, people you know your entire life will all of a sudden change before your eyes. But the worst thing is when it's one of your friends, someone you know and someone you care about, but they're just constantly doing better than you. They're just one-upping you every little time. You get a 3.0, he gets a 3.2. You've been doing a paying job for three years, he's been playing sports for six. You've had ad asthma since birth, he's a breast cancer survivor. There's just no beating this guy. And it eats away at you. I mean, we're all human beings. We all have anxiety. So you do something stupid like go on a diet. Now, diets are really terrible, but they're also eye-opening. They're terrible because, well, they suck. I mean, anyone who's been on a diet can tell you that. But they're eye-opening because they reveal to you just how unhealthy you've been living. But more shockingly, they unveil to you just how OK you are with living unhealthily. <laughs> I mean, honestly, what's the point of being so physically fit if you're just going to go around being miserable all the time? It's gotten so bad where I've had to resort to playing with my food. Um, one day I was having a salad and making a mustache with a leaf, and this toddler's looking over at me like, dude, that's not even how you play with food properly. And I just hit him back with, wow, you speak really well for a kid your age. But diets, they always leave you like full, but never satisfied. After eating a meal, you'll be like, I don't want to eat more, but I hate myself. <laughs> Which is what I like to think Mormons feel like near all the time. <laughs> now, this is really troubling for me because I personally just can't deal with you unless you're miserable. Like, unless we're bonding through misery, we're probably not going to be friends. That's just the way I am. So when you have all these super nice people running around all the time, I, you, I just get angry. And I'm like, go up to my other friends. And I'm like, aren't you pissed off? They're not pissed off. And they're just looking back at me like, wow, you are such an asshole. <laughs> but I mean, I think I'm fine. And that's one of the reasons why I actually like my dog. My dog's this cute but gross English bulldog that has this look of contempt on his face all the time. I mean, honestly, this dog looks at me more disappointed in me than my dad does. It's incredible. <laughs> but it's perfect for me because, like, I'll be going out and I'll be like, oh, hey, Hank, you want to go on a walk? And he'll just look back at me like, mm, not tonight, not tonight. And I mean, there's no real winning with this dog, but he's perfect dog for me. And I mean, I really just love that dog. Um, yeah, that's all I have. I hope you enjoy it. Tibbs. Tibbs. I'm not allowed to reveal a secret name. <laughs>